Andreas Krieg is a senior lecturer at King's College, uh, King's College London School of Security Studies. You're joining us from London, Andreas. Is there a lesson to be learned here for the Israeli military? Good afternoon. Yes, I mean, there is. Unfortunately, so far, <clears throat> the Israeli public has somewhat been shielded from the real cost of this war. I mean, the burden of, of warfare, the operation burden, has been shifted by the Israeli military onto the civilian population in Gaza. And what we see now is that as the Israelis are operating in the rear, as this war is kind of coming to a stalemate, it seems that the Israeli armed forces are now extremely vulnerable also for targeting. And it also shows that Hamas has not been uh, defeated. And the cost of war are still there, and they're likely going to rise. And the Israeli public will be ever more exposed to these costs of war. Uh, and a single incident such as this in a fairly small country like Israel will have quite a lot of impact on the, uh, on the uh, collective psyche of Israelis and put pressure on the government to bring this war to an end and potentially accelerate negotiations. Benjamin Netanyahu responded to this by tweeting, quote, we will not stop until absolute victory. Does this goal of absolute victory still make sense from a military standpoint? No, absolutely not. I mean, I've, say, I've been saying this for over three months. There is no military solution to this issue and to this conflict. The root cause is a political one. It's a counterinsurgency operation. It has to be seen as such. If they want to defeat Hamas, they need to defeat the movement. They need to do this politically. They need to offer something in return to the Palestinians collectively, not just to Hamas. And from a military point of view, there's literally nothing that can be done. Um, we've seen the complete uh, annihilation of the physical infrastructure of Gaza, and still Hamas is fighting. Still, Hamas has the capability to fire rockets, even if somewhat in a, in a restrained way. Uh, but we see Hamas operatives still running around Gaza, still being able to avoid open firefights, appearing and disappearing, shooting from the rear, uh, creating ambushes, and as we've seen in that incident overnight, uh, being able to target Israeli soldiers with impunity and then disappearing again. What we also know from the Israelis is that for the most part, Hamas fighters are avoiding open battles and open firefights, even in the urban environment. Uh, and hence why Israelis have the Israeli numbers of killed uh, soldiers has been, have been fairly low, while the number of wounded soldiers, also severely wounded soldiers, has been quite high, because what we see is that Israeli soldiers are being attacked from the rear in ambushes, booby traps. Um, and, and this situation is likely going to continue with hundreds of miles of tunnel systems that the Israeli military so far has been unable to destroy and will most likely never be able to destroy. And hence, they're in this kind of situation in an unwinnable war uh, where they can't get out of. Okay, so you say the war is unwinnable. They won't be able to destroy Hamas. There is no military solution, yet that is exactly what Israel continues to pursue. So, so in that case, when you game this out, where do you see this going? Well, nobody really knows. We had mm. expected that in December we would move to a second phase low-intensity stabilization operation, which could last over a year. That was the idea from the IDF. We've seen some movement of, of uh, and rotation of troops have been based in Gaza. But for the most part, the operation continue with the same intensity. Intensity for the civilian population in Gaza, one has to say. Um, and the problem that we that we see is that you have these Israeli soldiers wandering around somewhat aimlessly on a battlefield in a war that they can't win, uh, where there is a political leadership, particularly Netanyahu, who doesn't want this war to stop because he knows it will be the end of his political career. And it's these kind of political considerations inside Israel that kind of expose the IDF, as uh, the civilian population in Gaza, to these massive risks and to these threats and in a, in a war that they can't win. And it's now for the international community to press on Israel, to also mobilize the public in Israel to say, look, this war will not be winnable. It costs you dearly in terms of blood and treasure. Mm. And it's in your interest, it's in Israel's interest to bring this war to an end. Andrus King, uh, I beg your pardon, Andrus Krieg, senior lecturer at King's College London School of Security Studies. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.